disciplining African American boys more than you're disciplining disciplining white. Washington State School District will encourage teachers to consider students' race when dishing out punishments. Critics say new policy will result in harsher punishments for white students. Do we, uh, can I ask the question too of uh, cultural discipline? If we could get an example of what that might look like. Uh, question on the doctor, <laughs> uh, but, but, so, yeah. Uh, essentially, they're referring there that you look at, are you dispersing discipline? across the ethnicities, the racial groups, equitably, right? So are you disciplining African-American boys more than you're disciplining, disciplining white boys, right? So are you paying attention to all of that in your data, and then disaggregating your data and then looking at it? So they're looking for that kind of um, review of data, not just the numbers, right? You put out 80 kids today, no, that's not, so they're asking of those 80 kids, um, what are their backgrounds, um, ethnicity, that sort of thing, and being um, competent in that way about it. Then asking classroom teachers, asking administrators who dispense that discipline, you know, what brought that about, what were the um, other forms of discipline you used in your classroom um, to make um, a change happen um, before sending a kid out perhaps for a behavior violation. That last question by one of our board directors, uh, could we explain culturally responsive discipline? And the response somewhat admitted off the top of our head is an indicator that we're not fully uh, prepared to move forward because terms uh, appear not to be defined uh, from our standard operating procedures that says no decision will solve any problem without full understanding of the situation and an analysis of the facts. And I don't think, uh, while we do, it's true, have had two comprehensive um, reports to this board, maybe three, on district discipline data. Uh, we've never had a discussion, to my knowledge, about the terminology that we are committing ourselves to. And I think in the interest of due diligence, we suffer no hardship in placing this in a venue where we, as a board, have the opportunity as is laid out for us to create policy. If we have to answer the word, we have to look at the word justice. Um, what is just? So if I commit an offense or Anthony commits offense, um, let's say we both commit the same offense, then the question should be, um, what, what are the consequences of that offense and how, how do we go through that process? That's that's how I see it. And and to be fair, um, if we both did the same thing, we should get the same consequence the way I see it. And, and I think that's how most children and playground like to see it. Most of us as citizens in our community like to see it that way, that it, it's equal, it's equal. And so, do I have to do? Do I have to come into the equation if it's between Anthony and myself? Do I have to look at his nationality or where he was born or where he lived? No. He did an offense. I did the same offense. We should suffer the same consequence. In my opinion, are you FN kidding me? Here we go again with this woke BS and going backwards. Why do you keep wanting to separate kids based on skin color or background? The only way to make someone feel equal is to treat them equally. Is your school district really doing so well that you have to focus on this? At least the last guy that spoke was level-headed and spoke reasonably. This just makes me shake my head, what a shame of our school system. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, 
please share this video for education and awareness for the dum dum news channel i'm dum dum